First, we're going to start with chocolate brown, caramel color, peanut butter color, and dough color. Go ahead and roll out all the colors. Here's a thickness for the dough color and the caramel. So first take the dough color and you're going to cut out a rectangle shape. Make sure when you're cutting that you have enough to make two of the same pieces. Now you're going to cut out another one the same size. You can even them out at this point. Let's go ahead and lay it on the caramel and cut all the way around just like you did for the dough color. The thickness should be about this size. Now go ahead and lay it down and cut it out again the same way you did the first time with the dough. And then you're gonna do the caramel color just the same way as the first time. We're gonna go ahead and smooth out the edges. This step is optional, but I like to do this. I'll do the same with the chocolate and cut it out on all four corners and place the chocolate on the top just as you would fondant. Cut off the corners. And as you're cutting off the corners, remember pull it around to make sure that everything is smooth and there's no air bubbles. This process may take a little bit of time, but just have patience and it'll look great. Then you're gonna continue and cut off all the edges and then flip it over on the other side and smooth out all the lines that are in the back. Don't worry too much about bumps because you are gonna add bumps later. Then you're gonna take a small piece and place it on the top. And then after you put on the top, make sure you press it down so that it'll stay nice when it's baking. And then we're gonna smooth out the sides to make a more blended seam. Go all the way around at the bottom, on the back, and then smooth it out with your fingers. I like to use my fingers because it does I'm not sure if it's with the heat, but I think it's because of the heat, it helps. Continue smoothing out the edges and then the sides. You're going to go all the way around and smooth the grooves on the sides. Then you're going to use your dotting tool and you're going to make little end dents all the way down. And then you're going to do it on the other side as well. You're going to want to make sure that you do it at the ends too, on both sides. And then you're going to go on the other side and do a little bit deeper end dents, and then also all the way on the top. And this will help give it a little bit more texture. Now continue to do that all the way around the chocolate piece and using your fingers to smooth out any harsh lines. You want them to look like end ends, not cuts. Do the same thing at the ends and on the corners and still using the tool to blend while you make the end ends. You can also use your finger to blend it too if that's easier. And you're going to use a sharper tool 
and you're going to do a chain like pattern back and forth. Don't worry about the little grooves, we'll go back in and smooth those out with our finger or the tool. Then cut off the desired amount that you want to cut off. I'm just going to cut off a little corner here. Go ahead and use your dotting tool or you can use a toothpick and go back and forth in little swirls to get kind of like a chip or a cookie kind of consistency. I did go ahead and finish the rest of the caramel off camera because it did take me quite a few hours to get this. But you will just basically want to take your dotting tool and make little indents inside. And then you're going to want to take the chocolate and make little indents going downward and then squeeze both sides of the snicker bars and it'll come together better and that's it bye